ABC Sports. Back at Daytona International, where the trick seems to be to find somebody that you want to draft with. And, of course, the stock car drivers are experts at this track, wonderful at drafting, and get along pretty well, especially in the IROC. So, right now, Al Unser Jr. is out in front, but he runs in front as we've got a car spinning. And up against the wall, Scott Sharp, rookie to the IROC, coming Sharp. off a two. Sharp had a spin here a couple of days ago and heavily damaged the car. His wrist was slightly injured in that incident you can watch him he kept fighting that thing sam all the way you know he got it lost he lost it our car started spinning out of control but he kept fighting and that's something in stock cars you usually don't get them saved when you're on a place as fast as they tone it well the car will just give it up and lock the brakes and ride it out yellow with caution comes out for the first time today car looks like it took the impact pretty well not a lot of damage there at the right rear but enough to cause scott sharp to climb out and call it a day here in the first round of the IROC. And a tough debut for him to have that accident a couple of days ago and now have this happen. That means that his learning curve, you know, is not quite what he would want it to be. As I said at the top, he's a very smart guy, a college graduate, uh, and he knows how much a fast start can mean. All right, let's take a look at this. We're following Scott Sharp here. He's behind Rusty Wallace. And you uh -huh. can see the car getting a little bit loose. His rear end is loose. <laughs> He's sliding, he's in a good drift. He, once you get on the bottom there, you even saw the left front come off the ground a little bit. He's done right now. His brake should have been locked a long time before because it's just nothing good to come, come out of this thing. Once you've gone to the transition from the track to the apron, ah, there's nobody going to save it right in the middle of the corner like that. But he didn't hit very hard. He went a long ways, but he's very seldom that he even hits the brakes. If you look at this, he's still fighting it, trying to save it. But the car's not going to be savable right there. Actually, he did do a terrific job, though. He kept it uh, basically off the wall. Just about had it saved. We can look at it again here, far right of your screen. Watch, watch. Uh, we just passed the beginning, but he was, I think, basically sucked around, don't you, by the slipstream from uh, Wallace's car? No, he, he wasn't, Tim. In fact, he was on the other side of it. He just got loose all by himself, which uh, had nothing to do with Wallace uh, sucking him down. And he got on the apron. That's where the problem was. So light damage to the car. Scott Sharp is okay. He was running in seven. You know, a dual concern of everyone in race engineering is how 